The city of Cape Town wants a multidisciplinary task team to be established as extortion rackets and kidnapping cases in the city rise. Police Minister Behik Bele says there have been 32 reported kidnappings since the start of March this year. News from Africa's Nasipi Same has our report. Extortion rackets, kidnappings and transport-related cases were under the spotlight as Police Minister Becky Tele painted a bleak picture of the progress made with investigations into these criminal activities in the province. Since March of this year, 32 cases of kidnapping have been reported. A total of 15 suspects have been arrested since. It remains encouraging that SABs in the province continue to make inroads regarding kidnapping cases. A total, 15, a total of 15 kidnapping suspects have been arrested. This includes the court appearance of five suspects who appeared at the Wenberg Magistrate Court on Monday, 12 September 2022. The five-member gang appeared on charges of conspiracy to commit kidnapping and other charges related uh, to the failed kidnapping of businesswoman and Chinese nationality. The Bangladeshi Enterprise for Social Transformation in the Western Cape says it has had 17 kidnapping cases in the province. This has left the community contemplating closing their businesses permanently. A move which could see several lose their jobs. We have about six unreported uh, kidnapping that has been paid ransom and did not want to disclose their matter. So about 17 Bangladeshi business has been kidnapped in last six months. We are scared even to get out of the home. We look like now I'm asking you to, to hide my identity. So that tells you that how fearful we are. Of course we are very fearful. We, we're looking at it like maybe relocating to the, any other country and closing our businesses. Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis said he was concerned about the alarming increase in the number of kidnapping cases in the metro. He called on the minister to establish a multidisciplinary operational task team consisting of police, provincial and local government focusing on tackling extortion and kidnappings. We really want to be a part of that integrated task team. There's things that we can do. We can do street patrols uh, using our traffic officials to pull over vehicles. We've got a, a, the biggest CCTV network in the country. The key thing, though, is you have to combine that assets with the kind of high-tech investigative capacity that we don't have, things like intercepting cell phone calls and emails, uh, tracking money payments and so on. That is what SAP's crime intelligence does, and that is, what, that is the key to, uh, capacity that they've got to bring to that task team. Now, business and the city wait with bated breath to see whether the minister will establish the much-anticipated multidisciplinary operational task team. For News from Africa, on Channel 405, I'm Nasipi Same in Cape Town.